this one I'm really quite proud of. It's back to Dune, it's back to the Spice Depot, and you can see the connection. It's a much more refined version of the earlier picture that I showed you, and it's the same principle. You can see the tower there, which has been refining the spice. You can see the ship, which is waiting to load up. But more interestingly, because the spice, when it's refined, is extremely volatile, extremely dangerous, and people are always trying to steal it. So if you look, it's contained in its own little capsule. And again, the spice probably is only a metre in diameter inside that capsule, massively insulated. But just like in the Second World War, it's also a mine. So if someone came to steal that, if someone tried to take the spice, it's designed that the skin would explode very violently and fill the enemy ship or whatever it is with shrapnel, but the spice would still survive in a very hard container in the center. And then these prongs are the loader because it is a specialized loader. So that loader is on rails. So it will slide forward, it'll pick up the canister and then the ship behind is, is taking unrefined spice, but this is refined, so there'll be a different ship that comes, a bit like the pirate ships, to pick up that canister. In fact, what we'll do is we'll move to the next picture, because on the next picture there, there is one of the pirate ships. Maybe they've stolen it, who knows? They've come in and they've picked up that canister. So it's as simple as that. So there is this ongoing theme on Dune of the spice, the fight for the spice and uh, the various guilds and things. And then I could actually come and uh, show the next picture, which is on this theme. Now this is the spice harvester. Look at this great big scoop designed to pick it all up. And Basically, the spice is in the ground. It's secreted by these, they call them sand trout. And it breaks down in the ground and crystallizes. And this thing is designed to scoop it up and load it. And again, you see, look, it's got the camouflage of the sandworms. Because, and then that's the debris coming out of the back. It's actually inching its way through this sludge, this slurry, and it scoops up the stuff, it uh, jerks out all the stuff there, and then the actual spice is stored inside there, like that. But in this picture, just for the interest, here is the sandworm in the distance, and it's just eaten something, and it's spitting it out. You can just see it, very misty in the distance. 